this model did not become a bestseller in the segment, although at some point it had every chance. Let's try to figure out how the second generation Tina, J32, lost to the Camry Skirmisher. We consider it our duty to state in the first lines of this material that there is not a single hard contraindication for buying a second generation Tina in the secondary market. Moreover, if you manage to find a car with a Pepe variator, and other transmissions were not offered in Russia, and not with particularly progressive corrosion, you can not only take it, but you should. Don't guess. And then there are particulars. Comfortable interior with almost premium finishes. Impressive even by the standards of business class equipment. Good pickup, reliable engines, and affordable price. In fact, these advantages almost made the J32 the leader in the sales of the segment. But they didn't take it out. There were not so many modifications to the model in our market. Two V6 engines, 2.5, 182 horsepower, and 3.5 liters, 249 horsepower, volume. A little later, they were joined by an inline 2.5 liter, for 167 horsepower which was equipped with all-wheel drive cars. Stepless gearboxes have become the lot of each of the motors. The variators were different, but the problems with them are very similar and arise for the same reasons. The main ones are the national peculiarities of driving prestigious cars and poor service. For those who like to give a load to a cold, sharply increase from a traffic light or run along an empty highway at maximum speeds, the variators do not last long. And if such a racer, in addition, also neglects to change the oil every 50 to 60,000 kilometers, then problems with the box are guaranteed even on short runs. Repair may not be expensive, up to 100,000 rubles, but in advanced cases it becomes unprofitable. I have to buy a new box. It is possible to delay belt slippage, twitches and jerks as much as possible, using sparing modes without prolonged movement in tightness and racing. So, with careful use and maintenance of the variator, it is quite realistic to count on a mileage of 250,000 kilometers. When buying a car, pay special attention to the welds in the engine compartment and in the boot floor for corrosion. And the blooming body chips and the quickly peeling chrome exterior trim will attract this very attention. Machines willingly rust, Tina adapted poorly to our operating conditions. Another thing is the car and ceramics. 2011 to 2014 anti-corrosive will be a serious plus when buying and selling further. The suspension could not boast of a special margin of safety, although its components, in fairness, are not very expensive. In front, the wheel bearings are the first to fly out, somewhere at 60 to 100,000 kilometers. A hub bearing kit will cost about 10,000 rubles. The rear ones go twice as long, but after 100,000 kilometers, the rear springs sag, and new ones after replacement are also not enough for a long time. The resource of the front shock absorbers is about 100 to 150,000 kilometers, a new original will cost 15,000 rubles. The rear racks are three times cheaper. Salon can impress only an unprepared person, and the specialist will immediately notice how quickly finishing materials wear out. Seats are rubbed and even torn. The steering wheel wears out. There are crickets and extraneous noise from the heating system fan. Problems with the electrics so far are manifested only by the vagaries of electronics, failures of the fuse box and the multimedia, troubles in the climate control system. The cars are still fresh, so you should not expect serious problems yet. So in general, Tina can be considered a good compromise between prestige and equipment on the one hand, and the relatively low cost of maintenance on the other. If you're not afraid of problems with the CVT, a large family sedan will not disappoint. Suspension the most expensive replacement is electronically controlled shock absorbers. The death of the adjustment drive leads to the replacement of two expensive nodes at once. In general, the front suspension can travel up to 100,000 kilometers before the first repair, except for the replacement of anti-roll bar links. Transmission. For all-wheel drive vehicles, among the nodes with a limited resource, the clutch of the rear-wheel drive clutch is listed. It can be burned when racing on ice and just racing. However, on a dry one, the variator is more likely to fail than the clutch. A clutch kit will cost from 50,000 rubles. Engine. There is almost nothing to say about the motors. With careful maintenance, up to 500,000 kilometers go without major repairs. Among the nuances are an unimportant winter startup and problems with the catalyst resource, which are largely related to each other. With the failure of the catalysts and the appearance of crumbs, the resource of the piston group drops sharply. 
body. The optics are overridden quickly, but it costs moderately. But the lenses are reliable, rarely burn out. With a soft windshield, you have to put up with it. His enemies are not only pebbles, but also temperature differences. They complain about weak seals and door stops and a badly hung trunk lid. She is walking. Electrician. Weak interior lighting lamps and the unsuccessful design of the steering column switch block are noted. On pre-styling machines, lambda sensors and temperature sensors are already failing, and wiring is damaged. The problematic place is radiator fans, their bearings and electric drives also fail. 